And let's go to the commodity markets now. Uh, Manisha Gupta is joining in to tell us, remember there's a lot happening in the commodity markets. Crude prices are higher, gold prices are higher, the US 10-year yield has shot up. But uh, Manisha is with us. Manisha, what's the one commodity you're tracking today? Well, I'm looking at the gold prices because all-time high is yet again into this one. $2,350 an ounce is done now in the international markets. And for the Indian markets, we are scaling close to that 72,000 rupees per 10 grams. Well, if you, I, I want to keep report, uh, you know, uh, repeating this, that if you bought gold last year at around 55 to 56,000, you're standing at 72,000 on this one. So very strong gains coming in for the gold prices. Um, and we have seen very strong buying coming in from various aspects as well. Well, apart from the fundamentals, which have been on the stronger side, it really is about the OTC, the futures market that has seen a 40% rise in trade volume. So the retail clearly isn't buying as much because there is such huge volatility in gold. The prices have been making all-time highs. So it clearly has to do with the paper buying that has been quite strong in case of gold. There is a strong outside activity in gold options as a market as well. And I will show you that via numbers here where we have seen very strong numbers come in for this one. So whether it's about hedgers where we have seen, of course, shots being on the higher side because hedgers consider is of miners, producers, processors, users, manufacturers, and merchants, etc. So while there are longs into this one as well, but at these higher prices, I'm sure a lot of people are hedging their positions and is the number, is the reason you see that as a longer number. Now, this is what you need to look at. The managed money, the hedge funds, the uh, uh, you know money managers, etc., have increased their long positions to 2 lakh contracts versus 26,000 shots. This is where the maximum moves really seem to be happening and the open interest has been just on a rise here. The others also, when you look at that, the longs are double of what the shots are. So we have seen activity, volumes, open interest, all of that continue to increase. And then, of course, the fundamentals have been on the stronger side. You have safe haven buying. You have tensions in West Asia that has been supportive. Markets also are looking at short covering from family houses, proprietary trades, individuals also. And that has led the prices to be where they are right now. And this is happening even as you're looking at the dollar index trading much higher. You have uh, ETF buying coming in also. The real U.S. interest are, rest rates are still on the higher side. The U.S. non-farm payroll data that came in on Friday was much higher than what the street was anticipating. But even with these factors, markets seem to be completely ignoring all of this. And we have seen strong buying continue in case of gold. There are shots that are getting squeezed into the market right now. And we are looking at higher highs continuing. Today actually is the ninth trade day that you have the gold prices making all-time highs into the markets there. Take a look at what uh, we have done in sense of prices also. So uh, when you look at those numbers, we started with much lower as a base in 2022 at 1643. 1810 was the low in the previous year. We started this year with 2050. We are trading at 2350 right now. So that's $300 of a jump up. But remember, this is coming in after from a decline of below 2000 as well. So from 1992, and I remember that price came in on 14th of Feb, which was a Valentine Day. From then, you're looking at prices at 2350 right now. So in less than two months, we've seen prices gain up by almost $350 there. So it has been a very strong jump that the gold prices have been exuberating. This is what we've done in the month of March. March, 9.5% of gains. And for April, and it's not even 10th April yet, we've done 5% of gains coming in for this one as well. For now, it's going to be the inflation data from US and China that comes in in this week. That is what the street will take directions from. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Manisha, thanks very much uh, for that. So that's uh, commodities in focus uh, right now.